Liberty's Taekwondo team has been one of club sports top programs in the last few years. The team has garnered not only first place finishes at multiple tournaments, but has also boasted two national champions and has had multiple members place in the top three of their respective belt and weight classes in the nation. Now entering the 2016-17 season, the program is looking to continue with the success they have had over the past few years. I'm really confident about the upcoming season um, with my own competition, but as well as all of my teammates, they have all shown a lot of work and determination in practice. I'm very excited for it. We have a lot of new young talent, a lot of new black belts that I look forward to working with, as well as a lot of color belts who I see lots of potential in. We had uh, 12 people, uh, returners, uh, of a sophomore or higher. Uh, we've got 13 freshmen this year, uh, and including that freshman class are a couple of black belts as well as a couple of uh, advanced red belts. So I feel really good about going out, um, seeing how we fare against the other schools. Uh, this is the largest team we've had yet in our, our, the five years that we've had a head coach. Uh, so we're excited about that. We're, we're excited it's continuing to grow, uh, and these guys are going to do really well when we go out. Like most collegiate sports, the Taekwondo team has seen its fair share of turnover as half the team's roster is made up of underclassmen. But even with the team having a little bit of a new look, the Flames believe the team has gelled quite nicely and has the foundation for good things to come this season. Our team generally gels pretty quick. Uh, it's kind of forced upon them at first uh, until they start enjoying it. We do a, a team body night early in the semester where we, we get outside of the classroom, get to know each other on a different level. You wouldn't, if you watched them uh, together, you wouldn't be able to tell the freshmen from the, the upperclassmen just by, talk, just by observing them because everybody's become one cohesive unit very quickly. We always have a great team chemistry because we do spend a lot of time outside of practice together. So even though there's a lot more of us, we all, just, we're always together. So we always just have fun with each other. So we just kind of, no matter what happens on the dojo, we're always, having fun as friends outside, so it's not just a training thing, it's a life personal thing that we have with each other. I think we have a lot of more expectations than we normally have um, for the team. We've really stepped up the way that we do things, and it's a lot more commitment than it's ever been before, but just by watching the people this year and just, I can see how determined that they are, and to not lose that family and fun dynamic of it, but to make everybody work so hard that they do their best when they're out. We're definitely going to medal a lot more. Um, I see us doing really great at Nationals, hands down. So that's one thing I'm really looking forward to there in San Diego. I think we're really going to see them break through a plateau. Uh, we've got another tournament coming up, which is kind of done like collegiate nationals. It's, it's not a three-man team type orientation. It's one person uh, at a time. And if you win, you can continue. Um, I think that will actually help them see uh, where they really need to pick up the training as well, where they're lacking or where they're doing really well at. They're really gonna get an idea of where they fit within their, their own rank uh, and weight class. And they're gonna be really surprised at how well they do. I think we're gonna uh, come away with a whole lot of medals this trip. With the team expected to win multiple national titles this season and potentially even a team title, the Flames know that winning isn't the only reason for this close-knit group as the Flames bond goes even beyond the competition. The sport of Taekwondo and, and martial arts in general is, is about self-improvement and, and evolving as a person. Um, so it's just one part of, of what we want to see people grow in because obviously physically you want to see people grow and develop and, and gain skills, but you also, your spiritual life, you want to see your spiritual life grow and you become stronger in that. Actually it's really neat. Um, a lot of teams notice that we pray before we compete and we pray as a team and people notice that even if you don't make it really out there that you're praying. But um, one of our competitions, Virginia Tech, actually noticed that we prayed before stuff and they were kind of talking to us and they found out that we do like prayer groups at Liberty and they started doing prayer groups on their team because they heard that we did that. It's not only just about praying, it's about acting out our belief in God. One of my personal favorite Bible verses is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's a time for everything. And so by excelling ourselves in the ring but also outside the ring, we show that we can balance ourselves in a way that not every school can and not every athlete could. And in believing that way, we are glorifying the Lord in, that, in our competition. Being able to meet competitors and a lot of times like when it comes to fights, people 
you know, don't expect us to be all like nice and they expect fighters to be aggressive and, you know, kind of mean, but we're not like that at all. We actually get to know our competitors and on top of that, it's like with us, you can actually see the light. Like, there's just something different about us. It's just neat that like, you don't know who's watching you. So like, just being able to represent Christ in that way and the way that we present ourselves after we lose a match or win a match, little things like that, people really notice. This program, I can honestly say it's like a second family. I'm, everyone on this team I can consider a brother or sister, not only in Christ, but almost mm -hmm. like blood. Willing to jump in front of a bus or a train for them, they're just the greatest friends I've ever met and never want to lose them. It's I mean, un immense personal things to me. We all connect really well. We all come from different backgrounds. Honestly, um, I just feel like, you know, without this team, I don't know where I would be. Like, we're just so close. And um, it's one of the things, one of the reasons why I'm still here at Liberty. Just being welcomed by a team is just one of the greatest things and one of the greatest feelings. For me, this Taekwondo program, um, at first I really struggled with it. I came on as the assistant to my, my predecessor uh, due to my experience in uh, full contact fighting. But as I, I got into it and started working with these young people, seeing the opportunity to have freshmen come in, uh, watch how timid, uh, meek they were, some of them really wouldn't even look at you, and then watch them evolve into these young people that are outgoing and gregarious and able to re get up in front of a class and lead a class and teach. Uh, that's something every martial artist teacher strives for. You want to see your pupils go from student to teacher to make that evolution. And just watching that, of course, in this atmosphere here at Liberty, uh, where everything is Christ-centered, and, and we really stress that we're not just here as part of a team, that when we travel, we're missionaries. We're literally going out into the world and, and telling other people that we're Liberty, we are a Christian school, and we're all about teaching people about the love of God and what it's done for us. So that's just been such a great opportunity that uh, I just really fell in love with it after, after just a, a probably a couple of months and just said, you know, I really, I really enjoy doing this. So when the opportunity came to become the head coach, um, I didn't even hesitate. I said, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that. So uh, this is year two and we're, we're really hoping to uh, continue to make big grounds from, from what we did last year.